Back to Kauffman Stadium, our Mazda game break takes a look at a Negro Leagues legend, Mamie Peanut Johnson, one of three females ever to play in the Negro Leagues. She was the first pitcher. She pitched for the Indianapolis Clowns, and she could hit too, by the way, 33 and 8 with a 273 batting average in three years. And we are thrilled right now to be joined by Mamie Peanut Johnson taking this game in on a warm, but as you pointed out, no rain night. How good is it to be at the ballpark? Oh, it's beautiful. Man. I, I, I'm just so happy to be here to enjoy such an event. Let's go back to your career, one of three women. And oh, by the way, she also studied at New York University and went on to be a very successful nurse later on after baseball. But, but how did it come about, you pitching and hitting in the Negro Leagues? Well, actually, I, I, I played sandlot ball for quite a while. And there was a gentleman that saw me play quite often. And he approached me and asked me if I wanted to play pro baseball. And I told him, yeah. <laughs> so he sent me to meet the business manager of the Clowns. And I met him, Mr. Bunny Downs. And I went for a tryout the same day. And the next day I was on the bus. And pitching and and hitting. Okay, I want to I want to ask you what what was your repertoire? What kind of pitches did you throw? Everything I needed to, <laughs> really, whatever I needed to throw. And actually, I, I I learned a great deal from some of the nicest gentlemen that really picked up a ball because a whole lot of people don't realize sandlot ball is a whole lot different than major league ball, and that's what we were playing. You know, we, we now lately have seen the story of Monet Davis and what she was able to do. I know you've met her. What did you think of watching her and, and meeting her and how much of an inspiration she is in this current day? Well, actually, I, 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 when I looked at her, I said, that's the reincarnation of me when I was her age. And she, she, she's going to go far if she continues to do what she's doing. Yeah, she, she's a very talented young lady. Very talented. Tell us about the nickname Peanut. Who came up with that and how did it come about? A gentleman gave me that name that um, played for the Kansas City Monarchs. He uh, looked at me because I was very small then and, uh, and asked me how did I expect to strike anybody out because I wasn't big as a peanut. And I struck him out and the name stuck. <laughs> so that's how I got that. <laughs> well, you did really well. And we know so much about the Negro Leagues because of the museum here and the great history of the Kansas City Monarchs. Who, who did you just not like to face? Who was that one hitter that you did not like to see? Actually, there was none. <laughs> there wasn't because, you know, you had to learn to, to really take the bad with the sweet. And that was it. If he hit you, he just hit you. That was it back then. I got news for you, 60 years later or whatever it is, that's still the way it is in the sport of baseball. How do the guys treat you being one of just a few women? Well, you know, it's, 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 it's a wonderful thing because I met most of the gentlemen. Back then, young men were gentlemen. They, you know, they're not like they are now. So I don't know what you got now, but they were gentlemen. And, and I was pleased to be treated like a lady at all times. And I can say I had 26 brothers, and they were so nice. OK, I asked you who you did not like to face, and you said you, you were happy facing everyone. What about as a hitter? 273 batting average, too. Was there someone that, that gave you a tough time? Well, everybody did. Let me tell you, we had some of the best pitchers there were. So you take your chances with whoever. And that's the way it went. Either you played good or you didn't play, and you went home. Simple as that. Did you face Petro at all? No, I, I didn't play with Mr. Page. I met Mr. Page when he came back from the Browns back to Kansas City. But uh, I never played against him. Did you get a chance to play here at all? I mean, Kansas City and the Monarchs? Yes, yes, we played here quite often. And uh, we also played in the... Uh, the new stadium, Mr. Page's uh, stadium, 
In fact, that's where we took our first pictures together at that stadium. It is great to have you here at this stadium on a night where it's sold out. The defending American League champions, we are so honored to have you here in, in Kansas City. Mamie Peanut Johnson, thanks for taking the time. Thank you. Thank you so much for having me, and that's yours. Got her card here. It's got all the, the information on it. I mean, I don't know anybody else that has a card like this with such an incredible history. Great storyteller, and that's right, she wasn't backing down, guys against any of those men. Back to you. <laughs>